I was born on a battlefield, wizard. The barbarians who raided my village took me in as a baby when my parents died. I was raised as one of them, and that is why I'm stronger and more cunning than any other manda. Civilization will never make me soft, by Grom. It would seem the heroes are forged not just by Quartermain's template, but by their environment. Each land creates its own champion. What land created you? Were you born on a battlefield? The sniveling Manda nobles always hated my upbringing. They were jealous of my strength. So when Moth Ammon came, they turned on me. But the joke was on Moth Ammon, the thing he wanted most, the Eye of Ahriman. I hid it where no Manda would go, the home of my barbarian kin. Grom's teeth, it will be good to see them again. And you shall see them too, wizard. Your magic is strong. I'm sure you'll survive. Welcome back to episode 320 of the Death Walkthrough today. Hopefully, we'll be finished. Yeah, out. here are my adopted kinsmen. They respect me, of course. But you, they will see only as a weakling. Until you trounce them by Grom. What is this? A stranger? Ugly one. I will crush you. Don't worry, pitched combat is the preferred form of greeting for barbarians. Go! Fight! Hopefully we'll be finishing off Mandoria today. That's what I was trying to say before we got rudely interrupted by dialogue. Um, but yeah, first we have to defeat a couple of barbarians. Rank 18 myth. They probably don't have too much health. 4,105, um, which is not too bad. We will Blade and Scarecrow, and hopefully that should deal with them pretty quickly. Um, their myths are probably like all of the serious myth spells like earthquake stun those sort of things Just be careful. Just be careful and ready for that stun. There we go As I say stun we get stunned. It's great. Just fantastic. Love to see it. Love to see it We will enchant this and this and pass since we're first um, And we'll go for a scarecrow next unless they chain stun me again. Nope earthquake Told you, just be careful of stuns and earthquake. Yep, very cool, very epic. Love to see it. Amazing, amazing. We have to go and blade again. This is fun. This is great and fun and cool. Great and fun and cool. We will blade and then we'll hit. <laughs> oh my gosh, these guys are really trying to prove a point that they know earthquake and stuns, just to just to prove that they're painful and annoying. Just just the only thing that they're trying to prove here. Only thing. Okay, just chill. Chill, guys, chill. Um, Scarecrow. Hopefully this kills. If not, we will be slightly sad. Slightly sad. Just ever so slightly. But yeah, hopefully we can finish off Mandoria today. That is the plan. Um, last episode we were did one thing and one thing alone, and that was painful. Um, so let's hope that that doesn't happen today. But you never know. It might. Anyway, that is that fight done. <laughs> well fought. Finally made a friend as strong as yourself, have you, Manda? Come, the chief will want to see you both. Okie dokie, I'm out of treasure card space. That was a big jewel. It was like 13. What is sparkling? I think that's actually not, like, great. Um, I need to check, though. I need to check, though. Sparkling is 125. Okay, yeah, not great. Not great. Not great, but 13 accuracy, pretty decent, not gonna lie. Pretty decent. Anyway, let's go into this tent and see what is in here. What is inside the tent? Let's find out right now. Mandar has returned! Come, let us welcome him properly! <laughs> what a greeting! Let us return the sentiment. Fight on! Right, Aboria. Um, take on warrior. Very cool. Uh, fire rank 18 and 4,055 health. Not too bad. They can probably stun and mantle and all of the fun stuff that fire do. So that's cool and good. That is cool and good. Very, very cool. Very epic. Love to see it. Um, they blade. They infall. Everything seems to infall. I've noticed that. Like, everything here seems to infall. I don't know what it is, but just... Infals everywhere. All over the place. All over the place. Um, stunned. That's great. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Love to see it. 
love to see it. And, okay, what does this do? What is this? I don't actually know what this does. Is this a mental? This could be a mental. Mental, I'm guessing? No, it's a dot and a seal. Okay, that's what that does. Yep, that's cool. That's cool. We love to see it. We love to see it. We're stunned anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> These guys are annoying. <laughs> Kings are were like, let's just put the most annoying things all over the place in Lemuria. It'll be the best thing ever. We'll just annoy everybody so much with stupid mob fights. Because they're not hard, but, you know, they're just annoying. Just really annoying and obnoxious this time. Why does that steel ward, uh, steel blade, that's not cool. That ain't cool at all. So unfair. So unfair. Oh my gosh. Um, now he's got my death blade, which is slightly unfortunate. Oh well. Oh well, we should be able to kill here, hopefully. This man's is just like, trying to really make me not kill him. They've both stolen my blades, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Who thought I would have needed indemnity here? Jeez, indemnity ages, I can't remember which one. But but one of those two. I honestly cannot remember which one's which. Um, yeah, we need a ship of falls. <laughs> ah, pain, pain, oh my gosh. Why, why it like this? <laughs> why, why though? I don't understand why. Why would these guys do this to me? They are not cool or good. Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> uh, and it's done, of course. This is great. This is cool. This is fine. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. I am definitely not crying on the inside right now. Definitely not. These guys just need to stop. Like, seriously. Holy moly. These guys have just, like, have so massive brains that they're just outplaying me they they refuse to let me play play it you know it's just so unfortunate so unfair what am i meant to do you know what am i meant to do i don't know anyway it's okay we will crit and kill him right here right now and they will die and i never want to see them again never again right there we go 2000 not too bad not too bad there we go lovely now we shall meet Chief Kroll at last. Okay, let's meet um, Kroll. Manda! I am glad to see you. You are still skipping leg day, I see. Bah! My legs are more than strong enough. Let's go outside and I'll run you off your feet. Ha! I think not. So, why have you returned? Did the farmers drive you from your throne? They did, but I will have my revenge. I have come to ask you to give this wizard the Eye of Ahriman, which I left with you. So you will stand in my hall and give me orders without even a proper introduction? Grom's teeth! This is not our way. First, we must say hello with weapons! Okay, Chief Krull, rank 20 storm boss. Kind of scary. Kind of scary, and also another silly little warrior, which I hate so much, and I don't want them to exist anymore. Uh, 10,490 health. Not too bad, and obviously the warrior, we've just fought them, so we know what they do. We know they're painful. We know they're pain. Um, okay. Uh, we little want it. Nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. And this is going to be a stun. Oh no, a scald. Okay, that's fine. We take that. Also, go second again, because that's great. I would love to go first against these guys, because they're painful, but whatever. Whatever. Sometimes it just doesn't be like that. I kind of want to hit just to get out the Borea right now, and then we can focus on the other dude in a bit. I think that's what we're going to do, just because I do not want this Borea screwing me up like crazy, because I know he will. I know he will. I see you. I've fought you before. I've fought your people before. And I know you are painful, and I will destroy you right now. Plus, it'll also do a decent amount on the boss, um, which is good. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, but yeah, this is not to kill the boss. This is just to kill the warrior because he needs to go away. Just needs to have a wee little sit. Sit down, you know, 
look, look, look at his, look at his, um, you know, whatever they do, and then relax. That's what they need to do. We don't have a Grim Reader, unfortunately. I need to put that back in. Um, but that's fine. Ship of Fools with Double Blade should be able to take him down pretty quickly. And if not, we can just Ship of Fools again. Easy clap. Easy clap. Um, but yeah, now we don't have to really worry too much about getting screwed up. He probably might know Enfeeble. I don't know if that's, a, if that's true or not. But if he does, slightly annoying. But we'll take that risk. Ooh, very surprise. What is he going to do? Is it going to heal him? No, it's going to hit me. That's fine. I appreciate that. I appreciate it hitting me. I appreciate it. It's far better than it healing him. Because that would just be annoying. <laughs> that would just be, frankly, annoying. Um, we'll do this into another one. And then if that doesn't kill, we'll just reshuffle and try again. So, yeah. Sounds like a plan. Crit. Lovely. Blade. Blade. And Kablamo. Let's see. Does this kill? The question of the day. Answer is not quite, I don't think. But another one should. Theoretically. Um, 1,600. Ooh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. But we'll see. We'll see. Ugh. Oh, no. Not Sound of Musicology. This is going to hurt a little bit. This is going to hurt a little bit. Just as well I got rid of the fire guy. Because, yeah, that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot, a lot. Holy moly. Holy moly. What the heck? Um, right. Hopefully, if we're lucky, this kills. If not, um, which I think we may not be, it won't. It needs to do, what, 1800 or something? So, like, 1900. Okay, 2000. Easy clap. We did it. We did it. We did it. That's fine. I didn't know how much block he had. Uh, enough, my crumb. <sighs> To look at you, I thought you frail as a flower, but you fight like a giant. Being attacked by the chieftain is a great honor. He likes you, I think. So, wizard, you fight beside my adopted son, the Mander Barbarian. Has he taught you what is best in life? No? Mandar, have you forgotten? Never to crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear... Wait, did you hear that? There are thieves in your house, Krull. Let us teach them the air of their ways by Grom. Right, let us do that. Let us destroy them real fast. Oh, they're all the death. Mothamon! What are you doing here, sorceress dog? Manda, you fool! I let you escape my dungeons. And I have watched you from afar by sorcery ever since. I have seen and heard all you have done. You have brought my minions to the eye of Arimai, and now they will bring it to me! The Ancient One's power will be mine! Ah! How did these weaklings enter my hall? Crush them! Yeah, let's crush them in just a sec, once we've put in some prisms. Because <laughs> I am not taking any chances here. Uh, we're also going to put in the Grim Reader real quick. Real fast, right? Okay. Um, Mandorian Assassin, rank 18 Elite Death. 19 Elite Death, sorry. Um, they've got 5,000 health. Yep, just as well I put in prisms. Jeez. Um, so that's cool. That's cool. So, probably gonna have a lot of weaknesses and stuff. So that's great. Um, what else can you expect from death, guys? Shields occasionally. Drains. Not really anything too scary, apart from weaknesses. Um, so, plagues and virulent plagues and possibly bad juju, but I doubt it. I doubt, I really doubt they have juju. Um, I wouldn't put it past them, but, you know, I doubt it. Also, Dark Pact a lot. It's actually really handy that Dark Pact doesn't do death damage anymore, because it basically makes prisms useless. <laughs> it's like a complete, it used to be like a complete anti-prism like, strategy for enemies to have. But now it does moon damage is actually so much nicer. So much nicer. I don't have to worry about prisms not being used. Um, okay. So, we have a slight situation here. Let's discard the prism. Probably a bad idea, but it's fine. We could have actually cast the prism. Wouldn't have really mattered too much. This is poison. Yeah. 
Um, it'll be fine. I should have probably cast the poison, but oh well. It's okay. It's okay. Crit. Okay, this is another poison. Love me some poison. Love me some poison in the morning. Very cool. Very epic. Um, it only does like 300. So that's cool. Very nice. That only does 200. Okay. Okay. Someone's better than the other one. Um, we're going to blade. And if we don't get an enchant for an, for the um, scarecrow, then we'll just hit with a... Hit with the ship of fools. Double blade ship of fools with a prism should be good. Um, this is a blade, a dark pact. Yep, dark pact. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. They're literally just destroying themselves. Very cool. Love to see it. Love to see it. Um, right. And we cast another blade. And then we hit with hopefully scarecrow. If not, ship of fools will kill. So that's cool. Either of them right now, we do have a Scarecrow, which is good. We're going to do Scarecrow just to guarantee that we kill. Um, is this another blade? Yeah, it is another blade. Not exactly the blade I was expecting, but that's fine. That is a fine. Very fine. Right, that's poison done. Poison done, and Scarecrow. Here we go. Let's see. This should kill, probably. Most likely. I believe in my damage. I believe in my damage. We can kill, right? We can kill. Yeah, we can. Easy clap. GG. Very good. Very good. Let's go. It is done. Let us speak outside. This hall stinks of Mandar. What? <laughs> Not you, Mandar. Weakling Mandars. Weakling Manders. Yup. That's what we like. Weakling Manders. Just kidding. We don't like them. They can die. They can all be crushed by my spells. I would say by my sword, but I don't have a sword. I have a wand. In fact, it's not even a wand. It's a staff. Who is this evil one who attacks me in my own hall? Moth Ammon is his name, and he's the foul sorcerer who stole my throne from me. By Grom's teeth, he has much to answer for. By Grom's fists, answer he shall. You will not fight this sorceress dog alone. The boars stand with you. You seek the eye of Araman, take it. I thank you. Gather your clans, mighty chief. When I return, I shall carry the weapon that will destroy Moth Ammon. Come, wizard, to the duck. You're back. <laughs> I trust it went well. Your sword is ready, Mandar. Use it well. I will, Moth Ammon. Your reign is at an end. Yeah. Now, the place you seek is in the Valley of the Boars. He Manda looks down upon it from his tomb. Be careful, I won't be there to save you. I'm off to raise my army. By nightfall, Moth Ammon will be humbled, and the throne of Mandoria shall be mine. Again! Right. You begin the search, wizard. I'll meet you there. Right, let us find the secret door. Sounds cool. Let us find it. We're also nearly level 146, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I can't remember where this is. I think it's up this ladder here. It is up this ladder here. The entrance is somewhere here. Hold the eye of Araman to your face, then look around for the door. You see the door? Ha! <gasps> Quickly, let's go in. Lead on. Right, here it is. Here it is, in fact. Fantastic. Um, I can't remember what we're doing in here. Oh, defeat Malthamon. Okay. That's what we're doing in here. That's cool. That's cool. Thanks, Quest, for, you know, slightly spoiling it, but that's cool. We must be close. There are machines like this in the Old Ones Monitoring Station in Sky City. But these look hostile. Watch out! Okay, Steely Eyes, Balance Rank 18. We've defeated a couple of these. I don't know if we've defeated the Balance ones yet, so we'll do this one on camera. We don't need that. We could enchant that. We'll do a 45 blade. They have 4,000 and something health, which is not too bad. Not too bad. Um, and then we have a big big boy fight. A big boy fight against the Mothamon. The Mothamon us. Um... And he's a cheater. 
because of course he is. Oh, of course he is. Um, bum, ba, dum, bum. That's a lot of shields. That's a lot of shields. 4,360 health. Let's see if this can kill. It won't, but we can try. It'll remove the shield, and then we can follow up with another ship of fools. Easy clap afterwards. Um, so, yeah. That'll be fine, hopefully. That'll be fine. We'll be fine. Zero pierce. Lovely. Love to see it. We do also boost on these guys. I forgot. We have actually more than, like... I think it's like 15 or something. It's like absolutely pathetic shielding. Pathetic shielding. Absolutely pathetic. Um, okay. That did a little bit less than I was expecting. This is fine. This is a AoE that does a dot, I believe. Not too bad. Not too bad. 21. Yep. And dot, which is just a little bit of damage. It's actually kind of a weak spell kind of a weak spell not gonna lie um is this another fortify or brace i should say yep another brace that's cool that's cool and good love to see it um will this kill we blade once and then we hit we blade and then scarecrow just to kill the last guy not that i can't kill half of them with a ship of fools but i prefer to kill all of them at once um instead of waiting a whole bunch of rounds so we'll scarecrow next just because we can so that's cool uh this is i think a spirit shield i think i think i'm not sure though i think it's a spirit shield or an element it must be an elemental shield yeah it's an elemental shield that's fine that's fine all okay there and another elemental shield okay okay crit lovely Good job. These these ones take so long. Um, these spells take so long. These golem spells. Kind of annoying. Another golem? Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness it's not another golem. I was gonna say, if it was another golem... Oh, man. That's a kind of a cool hit. That's not, not gonna lie. That's a cool natural attack. He just eye lasers me. Um, right, Scarecrow. Should kill. Should kill. Very nice very nice hopefully we should be good fingers crossed fingers crossed crit blade and kablam yeah they're big dead big dead nice lovely easy clap we did it yay I wonder if something has gone wrong in the monitoring station. Let's press on. Right, door is here. We got door. Got doored. Get doored. Here we go. Fight. That's the door. We're nearly there. You fools! You played right into my trap. Uh, I told you I had watched your every move with my sorcery. And you kept leading me to my prize. <laughs> Thank you, wizard, for bringing me to the very threshold of the Ancient One. Now his power will be mine. You're the fool, sorcerer. Did you think you're the only one who can hunt a duck? I knew you'd be watching the Eye of Ahriman. All I had to do was wait for you. Now I will finish you at last. Right. Moth Amon, here we go. So, this fight is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. We are going to be trapping because he has cheats and stuff, which is great and cool and good. Um, we're not going to do anything first round just because he's going to summon minions and there's not really any point doing that. Um, so, uh, you can't be late. Otherwise, he will summon a... Um, he'll polymorph us into an egg. Which is kind of funny. Um, we get Manda, which is cool. He summons a few minions with him as well, which is dope. Um, and then... Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Um, you can't also cast any blades. Um, so yeah, and we can't target him while the minions are here, so we can't target him. So that's cool. That's cool and good. We have some of these. 
which is cool. We have some traps. I have enough so that we can do a potent and a regular on every single one, including the boss. Um, but it seems like Mandar's hitting, so that's cool. Mandar does do some pretty cool spells. He can heal you, he can shield. He's pretty, pretty handy to have around. Um, I don't know how much damage it will actually do, but it'll be handy. So you, like, really cannot target him, even... Why does that remove traps as well? That is just stupid. Ugh. Ugh. Why is Earthquake like that? Why? Why? I don't understand. It's cool, but also not cool at the same time. Oh my gosh, Amanda. Stun. He's stunning key. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Interesting move. I do have some Headless as well, just for the boss. Um, honestly, I feel like just hitting... Like, I really feel like just spam hitting a little bit. Just a little bit. We do only have one Scarecrow, so... Yeah, but we do have some Headless to take out the boss, so that's not too bad. I'm going to save Headless and Grim Reader for the boss. Um, but otherwise, honestly, hitting just, I think, is a good idea. It just sounds like a good idea to me. Mandar maybe can finish them off. Just kidding. We've got one down, which is cool. And we've got the other two really close to being down. And that guy's stunned, which is dope. Very cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Snowball Barrage. This could do a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage here. Not gonna lie. Um, so Mothamon has like 73%, around 73% resist to death and um, ice. And then about a 5% boost to um, fire and life. So yeah, just so you know. Just so you know, that is slightly, actually not too bad. We didn't kill the, I'm surprised we killed the storm one, not the, not the other one. I was honestly expecting to kill the, we just need to enchant. We're going to discard this and pass. We just need an enchant for the ship of fools and then we can kill both of them. Um, I was surprised. I thought we would kill the life one, but we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Is not too bad. If Mandar could hit, that would also be kind of cool. They're just all passing apart from Life Boy. What is he doing? Oh, Camp Bandit. Hello. Hello. A little bit of a long spell. It's definitely a weird spell. A really weird spell, not gonna lie. Um, we got an enchant, lucky, our gamble paid off, our gamble paid off, very cool, epic, and kablam, hopefully, hopefully, this kills both of the two minions, because as soon as they're down, we can now target the boss, which is good, that would be very handy, it helps to be able to target the boss you want to kill, usually, they're both dead, love to see it, love to see it, very cool. Um, and now we can target the boss in a little bit, which is good. Which is very cool and good. We can't at the moment still. We have to wait around for it. No, my guards. We can now target him. We can now target him. And do all of the big damage. All of the big damage here. Um, we got some traps, which is nice. Oh, why did I put that on? That's not a good idea. That was a bad idea. We need the prism first. Oops. Oops. I am incredibly intelligent and smart. So intelligent and smart. Very smart and intelligent. It's just how I roll. How I roll. I have obviously not played this game for a wee while, and it shows. <laughs> it shows. Um, that's what we meant to do first. I am just on top of the world at the moment. I'm just so good. So good at this game. Luckily, we have two more play two more traps for it. But still, that was funny. That was funny, but not funny at the same time. Um, Mandar coming in with the big boy hits. Love to see it. Love to see it. That's going to do a decent amount. Yeah. 1,500. Very cool. Very cool. Snowball Barrage. Mandar's going to get a little bit damaged here. A little bit damaged, but that's fine. Crit. Uh-oh. Mandar can heal as well. He does have Grendel's Lamens, so if he does die, he can heal himself, hopefully. Um, but he also has, like, a decent amount of health. A decent amount of health. Um, 
we will do this myth spear. I don't know if I would do that, buddy. I really don't know if I would do that. But hey, up to you. Up to you, dude. Up to you. He doesn't really have too much resist. And he can do legion shield, but I really don't think he's going to. I don't know what it is about me, but I just really don't think he's going to legion shield. But hey, if you want to do that, that's fine. Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out, dude. Um, right, we'll go for a... Actually, we could go for a Grim Reader next if we get it. That would be fantastic. That would also give two weaknesses, so he won't be pain. He won't be pain, because pain is pain, and we don't like it. We don't like pain. Um, that did a decent amount. Mandar's doing the most here, so far. Um, we are just Headless Horseman spamming. I love to see it. Love to see it! My favorite part of the day. I don't get to use this spell too much because it's not, it's very situational. Um, but this is one of the situations where it comes in handy. Love to see it. It's actually one of my favorite spells in the game, not gonna lie. Um, and should do a decent amount of damage. Yup, 5k, nice. Nice, 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 nice. There we go. One more of those and basically he's down. So that's really cool. That's really cool. Um, Dear Knight. Slightly spooky. It's not too bad, though. It's not going to do too much. It ain't going to do too much. It does have 124 outgoing and, like, 24 PS, but it's fine. It doesn't do much. We got resist. We got resist. And Mandar's big, beefy boy. We fine. Um. Frog. Frog. I mean... I kind of want to, I kind of want to get a prism. I didn't discard anything to get a prism, but I kind of want a prism. I'm like thinking 73 PS. Can I, can I do that feasibly with, uh, with two traps? I don't think, I don't think that counts it out. I really don't think that count cancels it out. Um, that did a decent amount. Not crazy amount though, but that's fine. Um, hmm. You know what? We try. We try. We've got so many pips. Might as well try. Might as well try. It's not going to do heaps, but if it does something, it's better than nothing, right? Plus, we have so many traps, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Plus, Mandar is just popping off. Stun immune. Yep, he, he's stun immune, dude. Did you realize that? Probably not. Kizma. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Crit? He didn't even crit. What a loser. What a loser. It's on Mandar as well. <laughs> it's on Mandar. Oh. Mandar is taking like the brunt of the damage here. That is funny. That is kind of... And now he's passing. He's saving up for Grendel's Amends. <laughs> he's like, no. I gotta get a power pip next and then I can cast Grendel's Amends on myself. Um, Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. We do this. We do this. As this is not going to do crazy amounts. Um, we'll pierce through a little bit of the resist. But we didn't find a prism. So it's better just to hit than not. 2,000 still through like a whole bunch of resist. That's fine. I'll take that happily. I will happily take that. Happily take that. In fact, you know what? If that's an Athena... This is a thing. This will probably do a decent amount of damage. So we do this. We do this. And this should kill. And if not, Mandar should kill. Hopefully. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Crit. And... Die, please. Please, dead, please. 1,000. Nice. Two weaknesses. And hopefully, that's... Oh, gosh. My pet. My pet. My pet. You've done it. You've done it, my pet. Mandar probably would have killed anyway, but you know what? Having a faint for Mandar, that's so good. That is so good. Mass faint, no less. That is, like, fantastic. Absolutely amazing. We did it. GG. GG. Easy clap. Look at us go. Victory! Moth Ammon would trouble Mandoria no longer. So, you have opened the hidden door and we still live. I will go with you.
into the fane of the Ancient One. You might have need of the Sword of Himander. You know how to open the door, wizard? Good! Lead on. Whatever's in there, we will face it together. We leveled up. We're now 146, which is very cool. Very, very cool. Let's enter the monitoring station. Grom, what sorcery is this? These devices employ a magical science far beyond mere sorcery. Compared to them, all your notions of magic are little more than superstition. This place seems identical to the monitoring station in Sky City. Why did the old one need more than one, I wonder? They are tests for his heroes. A test which you have passed thrice, wizard. Synthesize the next attunement stone. Okie dokie. Let's do some attuning. Another stone is yours, my champion. You've opened three harmonic gates to the world synthesizer. When you use this stone, only two will remain. In the beginning, I questioned putting a station here. I envisioned a land free of lemurs, devoid of outside influence. It is my greatest failure. I wanted to see if the off press manders could develop without interference. They built their own civilization, overcoming the boars. I was proud. But when I revealed myself to congratulate them, they turned on me. They forced me to unleash my defenses, which the Manders crushed as well. I hoped this rugged, untamed land would produce my scion. But after this disaster, I see that I must take a stronger hand in Lemuria's development. Uh-oh. Right, let's get the myth stone. The Ancient One. He played with us, like pawns on a cane board, like toys. The dog! <sighs> Were he here, I would smite him in his arrogance, by Grom. I wonder, what did the old one mean by a stronger hand? Fascinating. In Sky City, we always presume the old one was benevolent. It seems we may have misjudged him. I need to leave this place and think. I'm not ready to return home yet. I need to recover my strength and learn more about the Old One and his grand design. Telos is the city of the lemurs who venerate the Old One. A good place to begin. This Hall of Heroes also sounds intriguing. Lead me to it. A city? I have little use for them. Civilization makes one soft. But I am curious. I would see these lemurs you speak of. And besides, no Hall of Heroes would be complete without a visit by Mandar, the Barbarian, King of Mandoria. I will go with you. What a wonderfully old-fashioned place. Now that we're here, I suppose you'd best place that stone into this mysterious gate the Old One mentioned. That is your mission, correct? So these are lemurs. The legends do not do them justice. Does it always smell like this? How does the air ever get in here? Ah, yes, the odor. Finally, something stronger than you. Let's go find the Hall of Heroes. Good luck, wizard. Right, let us place the next stone. Ho ho. Lovely. A curious pair, Mandar and Dr. Savage. One a rough barbarian, one a scholar, an expert in all things. They could not be more different. I've no doubt they are both products of the Scion program. How can two oppositional beings come from the same source, let alone coexist? Yet they did, and they learned to. They worked together to achieve their goals. Perhaps opposites can reconcile? Perhaps evil can become good? Perhaps nothing can become something. Dasein can join the everything. So much to consider. So much to learn. You should, as usual, go visit... What was that? Um, loud noise? Loud noises. Oh no. Woo! That was close. Still, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing, right? Another hero! Now they're falling out of the sky! 
Oh, sorry about that building there. This must be Telos! I'm off course, blast it! Perhaps you can help me. Are you a human? Remarkable! I've never met a human before. I was only expecting to find lemurs here. Good to meet you, by the way. I'm... Buff Gordon, defender of Sky City. I'm looking for a bronze duck. A duck named... <gasps> Buck! Savage! Thank heavens I found you. I need your help. Something's gone wrong in Sky City. Our home's in danger. Impossible. What's the trouble? Invasion? Soil erosion? Is the Ascension Beam malfunctioning? That's just it. It's hard to explain. Nothing I can put my finger on, but something is terribly wrong. We need your intellect. I stand ready to assist. This is my new wizard friend. They'll help us. They have urgent business at our monitoring station in Sky City. Well, we're not using this rocket to get back. How do we fly home? We're in luck. I left Sky City on my expedition in an auto gyro. It's hidden in the Badlands, and it should still work. Follow me. Right. That is where we're going to end off for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Next time, we will go up to Sky City. But as always, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you're subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember to craft outside the box.